Good afternoon. I'm making this uh, video today because uh, I have to make sure that uh, all five of my trackers are working properly because uh, next week sometime um, I've been asked to uh, do a bit of uh, testing but not to reveal too much, that much as I'm going to be helping to bring a new product to the market. And I'm going to uh, be doing the testing of it and the final adjustments before it hits the market. So getting back to my problem at hand here, a while back I did a video on uh, adding a auto manual switch to a sensor like the one I have up on the top there. I don't know if you can see it. Now that thing works fine. That's the spelling which is found through an eBay high amp sensor. However, it doesn't come with these switches. And this thing has been driving me nuts because for some reason, you can see I got quite a rat's nest of wires, but they're all labeled. I've been popping fuses random randomly for no apparent reason. And uh, as it turns out, the problem was inside this actuator over here which I have adjusted to go off at a different time this wire was loose causing this to short out and blow the fuses so I've just corrected that and added some more wire and the reason I have to have these all straight is so I can do a proper test that's the Australian tracker over there which is working flawlessly this tracker here is tied into this one and those two are the LPCs which are identical. Okay, here's a little addition to that uh, last video because no sooner did I say that, it popped again. And I don't know if you can see inside here, but I've got a bunch of wires uh, triple and double jumped on the same connector. It turned out the power that turns that actuator on, this black wire was right up against another black wire that appeared to be a ground, it was actually a switch to switch that actuator on and now I'm going to demonstrate by going back to manual you can see they're both going to the west I'll stop it, both going to go to the east back in, back on automatic And now just to show you again that it's working, I'll go back to automatic. I'll send them back to the east. This thing's been driving me nuts. You can see them both moving, I hope. I'll flip it off. There it goes. Back on automatic. This big panel will continue on that panel. I have the actuator to where it will stop a little bit past level. So it'll go a little bit more to the east and stop because then it gets blocked by this one and it's just not worth the effort to remount those three panels, dig another hole, run the wires. It's just not worth it because it doesn't happen until about six o'clock. But without those three panels tracking, <coughs> it cost me about 400 watts a day when they don't track. So, lo and behold, that's the final answer. That's what it was. It's very peculiar to look at it. You wouldn't see anything wrong because the wires are coated all the same. But it's been figured out. So anyway, there it is. Now I'm all ready to uh, hopefully next week start the super secret test. And I'll be showing how that turns out. But I can't tell